Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice merupakan antara filem yang paling dinantikan peminat di seluruh dunia. Saya diterbangkan khas ke Los Angeles, Amerika Syarikat untuk menghadiri peratonton media dan juga mengadakan temu bual eksklusif bersama para pelakon filem terbabit. Kita ikuti pengalaman saya Nick Shafiq melaporkan untuk Melody TV3 khas dari Los Angeles, Amerika Syarikat. Very long wait. Finally, Batman vs Superman is here. Considering the huge expectations from the fans, is this the toughest ever project that you involved in? Just sort of physically, I think it was the toughest, but it was also it's incredibly gratifying because I love the characters. When I see Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman in their costumes, it was like though it's a labor, you're like okay, it's pretty cool. Even for me, it's cool. Ben Affleck as Batman has been a decade since you last played a role as a superhero. What convinced you to accept this role? The report saying that you were actually reluctant at first. The script was very compelling, very good. This movie is very real, different. It's substantive. It takes on a lot of issues, and it's also really compelling. I, I really believe that Zach, as a director, would be able to bring that to life, powerful visual way. You were the one that responsible for the success of Man of Steel in this film, which many considered as the sequel of Man of Steel. Can you? Briefly, it's been why did you bring Batman to the frame to fight with Superman? Batman and Superman have never appeared in a film together. I knew I wanted to take Superman and then expand the DC universe using Superman's existence as a way of creating a world where other superheroes could exist. Yeah. The gateway superhero that everyone would want to see it's is Batman. clearly Batman's. One of the most exciting build-up stories to the movie is that you accidentally met Christian Bale in a costume shop. Did Christian give you any useful advice apart from jokingly telling you that make sure you can piss? On that suit. No, he he didn't really give me any. He's just a very kind guy. He's obviously a brilliant actor. I admire him a great deal. I thought it was good luck, blessing, a token of good luck to see him before I started the movie. I think that there's amazing acting in this film and introducing Wonder Woman. I mean, that's fantastic. What is going on psychologically and what motivates somebody to become a hero? I think that this film is even better than the first one. That's a very rare and wonderful thing to be able to say. I'm not a comic fan. When I read this script, I had never read comics or seen comic book movies. I really loved it because the movie talks about things that are relevant to a modern political discourse. And my character, I think of Superman as though like he's a nuclear bomb. It's not safe for him to exist. And I think of Batman, an ally, because we have a common enemy, mm -hmm. trying to fight somebody we feel has been given too much power. It's an mm -hmm. honor to work with these characters. I just hope that audience enjoy the ride. In this movie, I don't think anyone knows exactly what's going to happen. Next. I don't have any expectations as much mm -hmm. as I really hope that the fan really enjoys it as much as I do. I hope uh, people like it. 